What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Dillian White. Dillian White said a lot in his last interview with Fight Hub. You know, he was over in the States. And um, in this interview, he simply, they asked him a lot of questions about Anthony Joshua. And he said Anthony Joshua wants easy fights. He said Anthony Joshua wants to maximize his profits. He would do it if he was in the situation, but he doesn't think that he would want to fight Dillian White or himself right away um, because he's a money man. You know, he also brought up the $50 million. He would fight Deontay Wilder tomorrow, take his shirt off his back, go a two rounds with him and give him hell. Um, what else did he cover? He also stated that uh, Jarrell Miller, you know, has a good work rate, but he's, you know, the only way he would beat Joshua is he fell on him and sit on him and, you know, and Anthony Joshua wins by di disqualification, right? Um, <clears throat> he says he has no power, Jarrell Miller. He says Jarrell Miller would be an easy pick if that fight would happen. He thought he would be the front runner, but, you know, of course, that isn't seem to be the case, but we don't know yet, right? Because my sources say that that fight um, looks like it's going to be done pretty soon between Joshua and Dillian White, okay? Um, Dillian White also said that, um, you know, a lot of fighters don't want to fight him. He said that he brings more to the table than Joshua's past two opponents. So he knows the infrastructure, he knows the numbers, so he felt, of course, he felt lowballed in the first offer. Um, what else did Joshua say? They asked Joshua about Wilder Fury 2. You know, he gave his account about the first fight. He thought that Fury outboxed him, you know, won by at least two rounds, including the knockdowns. Didn't matter. He said the second fight is going to suck because while Fury knows he can outbox Wilder. Wilder knows he can just catch him on the chin and put him down. What's going to happen, he says, that... Deontay Wilder is trying, going to try to box Fury, and Fury's just going to dance all around him, and it could be an uh, Klitschko-Fury fight all over again. That's how he stated it. You know, fights like that, they're a very cagey, kind of chess matchy like fights, you know, kind of similar to Klitschko, um, Fury, um, Joshua, um, Parker, you know, those type fights. You know, and he said that those type of fights suck, you know, and... Um, and it makes sense. There is, you know, for me, counterpunching that, thinking about what Dillian White said with a possible rematch. Um, Deontay Wilder's trainer already stated that he wanted the knockout to come, not forced. OK, so if that's the case. That should put Deontay Wilder back in the pocket waiting for the counter, waiting for that right counter, because that's what he does. Most of his fights, if you notice, he kind of sits back and he waits. When the fighter slows down, he shoots the right. You know, a lot of times, it, you know, mostly every time it, 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 it's, it's caught, it's caught its opponent, okay? Um, but if he tries that with Fury, if he just waits for Fury, Fury will outbox him, will jab him, will use the ring. And he will do that all night and he can do that all right, all night long. So imagine this guy out of shape like everyone thought he was. Imagine him in shape like everyone knows he will be. That will be a totally different story. That type of fight can be a possible Klitschko Fury part two. Because of how it is, um, Deontay Wilder will try to wait for that right. If he waits for that right, he'll be waiting for that right all night long, getting peppered with that jab. While Fury uses his awkward defense, his quote-unquote Mayweather-style defense, to circle Deontay. You know, Deontay will try every so often. He will paw-paw and throw a right hand and will miss badly. Or he'll throw it wide. And in that case, we all know Fury's going to lock him up, okay, and clinch. You know, spin him around, repeat the process, etc., etc., etc. So there is some truth to what Dillian White says um, compared to what I would think would happen. Um, 
the knockdowns, you know, of course, Fury will be more cautious. However, we don't really know because we have two different trainers in Fury's corner. Now, Fury could take the advice of his young uh, friend and trainer, Ben Davidson. Be cautious. Box smart. Right. Or he could mix it up a little bit with the instructions, the advice of um, Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach wanted him to be more aggressive. And, and if you look at both instructions, they were they did work at times. You know what I mean? Even in the 12th round when he got dropped, he did go for the straight, you know, the double jab and the straight right. OK, he caught Wilder. And. But it also left him open for another attack from Wilder. Right. So he did go down, but he got back up and he did launch the attack that buckled Wilder. And that's another thing that uh, White did say something else, something else that did make a lot of sense. Fury's not a puncher, but Fury was able to buckle Wilder. That's bad. You know, and I thought about that. A lot of people criticize Anthony Joshua for being chinny, but they don't really think, talk about punches that hurt Wilder at times. You know what I mean? He's so tall. He's so in the air. A lot of people can't really get to him from how tall he is. So he's safe from a lot of fighters and a lot of punches, a lot of angled punches that could hurt. But it's coming from someone that tall, you know, and perhaps taller, like Fury's taller. You know, he was able to throw certain punches that could hurt him. Like, look at the right hook that hurt him in the Ortiz fight. He didn't see that punch. I get that. But then, you know, that hurt him. That right hook hurt him. And I'm not saying that Luis doesn't have power. But what I am saying is Fury isn't known for power. OK, so that's, you know, I did a breakdown about this, I think a couple days ago about Deontay could possibly get knocked out. But that is a bad sign. So, you know, if Deontay does catch that that left hook like he did in the 12th round that made him buckle, if he gets that, he if he gets caught early with that tight punch, he might get um reluctant to want to engage so yeah the fight could be a sucky fight it could be i could see why dillian white said that anyway you guys tell me what you think what type of fight this will be of course please subscribe you guys been counterpunched peace